Hello there and welcome back to Wandering Soom. I'm sure you have been following the Le Chalo series and this is episode number 3.2. If you like this video and its content, please do subscribe to Wandering Soom and also hit the bell button to be the first to get notified on my next video. Our journey to our final destination Srinagar started from Dras, which is the second coldest place on earth as the temperature dips to minus 60 degrees. National Highway 1D connects Ladakh to the rest of the country through the Zojila Pass. Two decades back, our neighbor did attempt to cut this connectivity by shelling from the high mountains overlooking the highway. Thanks to the locals and the army personnel, a big wall was made that foiled their motives. The wall was tall enough to keep the road out of their visibility and strong enough to withstand the shelling. It is still standing bold and tall. अच्छा माम वहाँ border पे जाता था अच्छा border पे यहाँ से ammunition तेल राशन ऐसे ही लेता था तो था यहाँ पे सिर्फ रात को चलता था बस उस टाइम लेट बंद करके सिर्फ रात को ये थोड़ा काला सा देखता है ये तालकोल है ना उसी को देखते जाते हैं और इतना सिपिट नहीं जाते आस्ते जाते बोले मैं तो बारिश की आदत तरह आता था सर पूरा लड़ना पड़ता है खाना बैठेगा समझो वो मार गया अच्छा जो कि वहाँ पे वो आवाज आता है उधर से ड्रम करते आवाज आता है तब जल्दी लड़ता है तब गिर जाता है इस तरह वो पटी हो जाता है It's amazing to know that there are two different worlds on either side of the Zojila Pass. The brown and barren Ladakh and the green and colorful Kashmir. Historically, Zojila was called Surjila, meaning Shiva's mountain. With time, the name changed, but true to its historical name, the pass is very aggressive at times. Landslides are very common, coupled with the unruly drivers from both sides of the pass, and the heavy traffic makes the pass very difficult to negotiate. It puts the skill of the driver to an ultimate test. Uh, one piece of advice over here for everybody: If you're coming from Kargil side, Kargil Dras towards uh, Srinagar, or the other way around, try to cross this particular pass as soon as possible, as early as possible, because of the massive traffic jam that you will get. It's a very small distance, but because the no, uh, roads are very narrow, there, there are streams. Uh, a lot of places the roads are broken, and uh, nobody has got the patience to let you pass. So therefore, it's important that you uh, cross this area. As early as possible in the day. See what is what what is happening over. Here. That's the Amarnath camp. The Amarnath yatra actually begins from here, base of Zozila, and this is an ITBP thing. And you can see the road which is going over here. That's the road which goes to Amarnath. It's a 14-kilometer trek. Again, we have been stopped by BRO because there is a blasting going on somewhere up over there. That's where the blast just now happened. No, no, I'm just joking. Don't worry, we're pretty far. Blasting over here, blasting. Reaching Sonmark Valley was a blessing. It's a pleasant welcome to the Kashmir Valley and to some good and awesome Kashmiri food.
awesome yeah. cover. So, so I'm reporting from Hasbur in Srinagar Dal Lake and uh, we are dog tired after a pretty long journey. The journey which should have been idly 4 hours took more than I think 7-8 hours because of the traffic and the road construction, road blocks, everything that happened. Safer now. <laughs>